Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing the books that I'm planning to read during the month of October. This month I'm actually taking my reading to a whole nother level. I am actually not a big fan of scary stuff or scary movies, hunted stuff, anything like that. I'm just not the biggest fan of. Halloween has always been my least favorite holiday of them all. Like I don't tend to celebrate Halloween even when I have like a costume thing I always just leave it to the last minute and it's just not my favorite time of year just because I don't like scary stuff I don't like to get scared I don't watch scary movies either but this year I decided to change things a bit and even though I'm not I'm still not reading any horror books or any kind of stuff like that I am dipping my toes in to sort of like witches and maybe thrillers here and there so we're gonna try it this month I actually have never I don't think I've ever read a thriller either so I'm excited to see how I like them nothing too scary I did my research and I watched a lot of Olivia's videos from Olivia Rizzolatte she has a lot of like Halloween themed videos because she does summer ween and winter ween i believe is the other one as well as halloween time so she has a lot of recommendations and i based some of my books from her tbrs and books that she has mentioned that she likes i actually have seven books that i want to share with you guys and i'm gonna start with the book that i actually i I already read and the book that I already read and finished and spoiler alert I really enjoyed it it's the X hex by Erin Sterling I actually really like this book just because it gives you like Sabrina vibes there's magic involved and it is a rom-com so it's not that scary but it did have some of those Halloween and Sabrina magic vibe and I'm talking about Sabrina like the first Sabrina that we watched not the latest Sabrina I think in my opinion the new Sabrina was a lot more scarier and darker so I got the vibes from the first Sabrina which was just a good rom-com and I like the romance it was good it was very based on the romance part of the story so in this book we follow vivian who is living with her aunt and her cousin after her mom passes away and she's going to college there and there she meets reese whose family funded the town and it is a very magic centered town so when reese breaks her heart vivian and her cousin put a curse on reese thinking that it was just gonna be him having a bad hair day or something like that and it turns out to go completely wrong without them knowing nine years later reese returns back to the town and that's when they realize that the curse was actually worse than they thought and now reese and vivian have to figure out what actually happened and why things are not going as well as they should be so it is very romance center as well as the magic around them so it was a good time i did read the audiobook and i didn't enjoy the audiobook as much just because the voice that the narrator gave vivian it was very different and most of the time vivian's parts sounded like that one stepmom from a cinderella story with hillary dove um her name is jennifer college she sounded just like that and i kept laughing because it sounded a lot like that but toned down so that's the only reason why i didn't enjoy the audiobook much but the book was really good i recommend it and it was just a fun read full of magic the next book i'm planning to read is happy hour at casa dracula by marta acosta this book i have never heard anyone talking about this one i was actually on script looking at books that had witchy vibes and were like rom-coms and this one came up and i mean the cover is cute and what i read about this book it sounds very funny and just a, another good time with it in this book we follow milagros de los santos and she just can't find her way around the world and a man to go with it so she goes to this party and there she meets this suspicious hot guy and she gets bitten while kissing him so 
things happen she falls ill and then next thing you know his family has taken her and things are happening so yes this is kind of like a vampire situation and there is a series on this so i'm excited to see where it goes i started listening to the audiobook and the narrator sounds really good i liked her narration since the beginning so i think it's gonna be a fun read like i said there are i think there's about four books and i do believe that these are self-published books so i'm excited to read it i read that the author is based in the bay area so it's close to me and i mean i'm just trying to support local people but this book sounds so fun and i think it's gonna be a good time i believe jody is actually hosting a vampire a -thon, and i actually that's towards the end of the month and i thought about holding on to this book until then but we'll see there's like i said there's a few books out so i might just pick this one up right now and read the second book during that week if i do enjoy these books the next book i'm planning to read is the nature of witches by Rachel Griffin. I actually do have this book but it's downstairs so here's the cover. I have wanted to read this book since it came out. It's a fantasy story. So the witches in this book are season based magic witches. So there's an autumn witch, there's winter witches, spring and summer and I believe the witch that we're following is autumn but she somehow gets to have all of the season powers and that makes her like one of the best witches however she doesn't want this title and you know she wants to give it away but she can't she doesn't want to be this great witch because she has a lot of pressure and it's a big burden on her so that's all i know about this book and correct me if i'm wrong but this is how i'm going into the book it sounds super fun and i don't know if it's actually a standalone or it's gonna have more books following it this one but i'm excited to read it so far i've heard great things i love witches that's one of the things i do like i love reading about witches and fantasy and even contemporary ones i also picked up a new release and that is Payback's the Witch by Lena Harper. This one just came out last week and I actually saw Reagan and Olivia from Olivia Reads a Lot to talk about it and it also gave me Sabrina vibes. So in this book we follow Emmy and it's very similar to the ex-hex. Um, she also is back in this new town because she was exiled. And then there's also this one guy that comes from a very powerful family you know the well-known family it has a very similar premise to the ex hex and i actually thought that they were the same book at one point but they're not they're different books but they sound very similar and there's actually like a nine year gap on both of the books so i don't know it's like did they copy each other's work who knows but in this book, Emmy has to return to this town because every year they have a competition and her family is kind of like very involved in this competition or games, whatever it is. And she goes back, she's happy to spend time with her family and spend time with her friend. But, you know, she's going to meet this guy and they're going to fall in love. We all know that. But yes, it sounds like a it sounds like another good rom-com with sabrina vibes and we'll see how this one goes it's promising as well so i'll i'll let you guys know what i think about this one another book that i meant to read last year but didn't get around to it it's middle game by sheena mcguire i've heard great things about this one this one is more like science and magic based because i did read some of her books of um the small novels and I kind of know like her writing so I feel like this one's going to be very similar where it has that fantastical scientific side of it and we follow two twins in this story who have been experimented with so one of them is like more creative I believe knows like a lot of languages I'm not sure but the other one I think is more like math base they're they are both different 
but I believe they escaped from the place they were kept and then we follow their story from there. I'm excited. I think it's going to be kind of creepy and just enough mystery to get through. Um, I don't think it's going to be that scary. It's just going to be creepy and like suspenseful. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. And the next book, I'm actually very excited to read in it. This is actually the first thriller that I'm planning to read. And that is The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. I've heard of this author a lot. There are a few books that I've seen going around and they are like scary ones and suspenseful thrillers but this is actually one that caught my eye first of all the cover it's gorgeous i like it I'm, I'm not gonna lie i love this green and the peaches i don't know it's just a nice cover and it's about vampires so the only thing i know about this book is that we follow this group of ladies who have a book club they're from the south and they tend to read like thrillers and scary books as well and then one day this mysterious guy shows up in their neighborhood or something like that and they decide that they have read enough books to know how to handle a guy like this one this mysterious guy and i think that's when we get the paranormal side of this story which i'm looking forward to i haven't read a vampire book since Yes, since Twilight. So I'm looking forward to read about this one. Hopefully the vampires are actually like bad, mean, evil vampires and not glowy ones. I don't know. We're going to find out. And last but not least, the next book is a thriller and that is The Maidens. I have heard so many good things about this book, but I've also heard really bad things about this book. I think either people like it or they don't. And by the people that don't, I want to say that they tend to read a lot of books like this, like a lot of thrillers and stuff, so they know what they like and what they don't like in a story. Me, however, I'm new to this. I haven't read a thriller, like I said, and I tend to get scared pretty easily. I don't think I pay enough attention to what goes around and the characters to know who did it or whatever. Maybe... If it's too obvious, I will, but it's like, I'm not going to be mad at the end if I picked it up in the beginning, you know? And I think that is something that a lot of people tend to do. Like, people who read thrillers is like, I knew this was going to happen, and then they end up not liking the books because they, they were able to pick up that at the beginning. Me, however, I'm just looking forward to feeling that the suspense and um, maybe getting scared. I don't know. I think it's going to be a good book for me to read if some people do like it. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. The only thing I know about this book is that we are following some students and it's like this student teacher relationship. I'm not sure how, like how that's going to happen or if it is a student teacher relationship thing. And I do want to say that it's probably like university, not, you know, it's high school or something but um yeah no i don't know much about it so we're gonna see how that goes those are all of the books that i'm planning to read this month and i'm actually very excited to read to get to all of them like i said jody is having a vampire -a -thon at the end of the month like the last week so maybe i'll hold my vampire books to that week we'll see how it goes um but yeah if you guys know of any other good witchy books out there let me know down in the comments and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope to see you guys soon bye